Hi you guys, quick video on using the OTG cable on the Nexus 9. Out of the box the Nexus 9 doesn't have OTG uh, connection as it were, but it's uh, fully functional within the Nexus 9. You just basically need to add a file managing uh, system onto your Nexus 9. And I've put a yes file browser onto uh, my Nexus 9 and it works perfectly well. And what are we going to do uh, today? In this brief video, I'm just going to show you how to hook up peripherals, hard drives and USB sticks. Uh, you can see the uh, Nexus in front of us and I'll just go through a few things that uh, we're going to ho hook up to uh, the Nexus 9. Uh, we've got a Samsung 1 uh, terabyte hard drive. We've got a generic Windows keyboard, a USB connection. Uh, we've got an old USB Microsoft mouse. Uh, we've got an OTG cable, which of course you're going to need and we've got an unpowered uh, four port USB hub, all very cheap, these are from a local Chinese shop and we've got a USB stick which is an 8 gigabyte USB stick. Now first of all what you need to do is you need to install uh, ES File Explorer you can find that on the Play Store, uh, download it once it's installed it will automatically work with your device and I'll show you the basic set of how we're going to go about doing this so first of all, what we need to do, we need to plug the uh, OTG cable in. So bear with me while we plug this in. That's your first process. Uh, next, you need to plug, well I'm using for this uh, demonstration, a four port USB hub. And you can see we've actually got a light illuminated on the port. Now what we're going to do, we're going to use all four ports on this USB hub and we're going to go through a few peripherals. First of all, I'm going to connect the obvious one, which is the... A Microsoft mouse, so we'll connect that in, and once we get that connected, I'll move around, and you can see in this shot there, you can see the cursor on the screen. If I hold the left mouse button down and scroll across, you can see the scroll functionality works perfectly, very, very smooth. Uh, go to the app drawer, go back out to the home screen, and you can see that's all functioning fine. If we look on the USB hub, you can see that that port is now illuminated, showing that the uh, keyboard is working. The next thing we're going to plug into is the uh, generic uh, Microsoft keyboard. I'll we'll try and get that in the right way up without twisting the cable. There we go. And again, you can see that's illuminated. And what you'll find when you plug the uh, keyboard in, you'll get a notification at the top of your device. We just use the mouse totally for this demonstration. When you click on your pull down, drop down menu from the top, oh, shall we drag it down actually? You can see select keyboard layout and if you go to that it will uh, select the keyboard you need. I'm actually using a, a Spanish keyboard layout. Uh, we won't go into that in too much detail, I've covered it in another video. Uh, just to suffice to show you it's working and what I'll quickly do with this now just to show you that the functionality of the keyboard is, is working okay. I'll try and move the keyboard into shot so you can see what I'm actually doing. And on the top of the keyboard you can see, you can check out another video I've done, there's hotkeys along the top of the keyboard and all these function f perfectly well without a driver. Uh, it's quite hard to get these in shot with the camera, the angle it is, but you can see all these different things like uh, play, pause, stop, pre-track, everything works, mute, volume up, volume down, they all work. But briefly, to keep this video uh, within a decent length, I'll show you quickly, if we go to email and I'll press on it, you can see straight away on the uh, Nexus 9 the email clients popped up. Now you can see next to email, if I can get it in shot, see next to email that we've actually got a home button. So if I press the home button, and I'll try and do that now with, with the keyboard out of shot and the screen in shot. So email, you can see the email client comes up, and then back to home. You can use the tab keys as well, and you can use all the uh, shortcut keys on the board. It all works fine. Like I say, I won't go into it in too much detail. This is just a basic tutorial showing you how you can set up your Nexus 9 using these uh, peripherals. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to shove a USB stick in, so you can see the USB stick there. I'm going to shove that into one of the available ports. Bear in mind that the Nexus 9 is powering all these peripherals and these drives. So I'll put the drive in, and you can see if I move that back in the screen, you can see the drive wearing away, and you can see we've got another illuminated light on the uh, unpowered 4 hub. Move that out of the way again. And what you'll find now is you need to go into the File Explorer system. It won't spring uh, straight open as a uh, Samsung device, so if you go into File Explorers and we go into ES File Explorer, you can see now, looking down the lift, list on the left hand side, we've got a USB connection. If I click on that, you'll get a pop-up that says allow the app ES File, File Explorer to access the USB device, and you can have this by default, but we'll just go OK at this moment. And you can see that will open the folder, 
and then everything on that folder we've got access to and we can play. Uh, I won't play anything off this one, I'll put the uh, one terabyte hard drive which is uh, what people really want to see working so we'll, we'll, we'll leave that as it is and we'll go over again and we'll plug the one terabyte hard drive in we'll do the same process again plug that into the four port USB hub just bear with me and you can see all four lights are illuminated we've got the USB stick working and if I move the Samsung drive in front, you can see the drive's whirring away. I can actually feel the drive uh, whirring away and moving. So what we've got now is the Nexus device is powering all these devices, enough power to actually work them. And you can now see under the side there uh, on the screen, if I try and move this a bit closer to the camera, I hope that'll focus in. You can see under on the uh, sidebar on uh, the S File Explorer, you can see USB 3 Zero, zero, 007, so if I click on that, you'll get the same prompt again, you have to use this every time. Uh, click OK, and we've got an un unentitled folder which is the hard drive. Uh, we'll go quickly into a folder, and we'll pick something quickly to play, I won't dwell on it too long. Now when you, when you first use your Nexus 9, you'll find that uh, different uh, players aren't uh, optimised for uh, Lollipop at the moment. But the good thing about ES File Explorer, it actually has its own media player built in. You can see on the screen now we've got ES Media Player. Uh, if you choose to move files from uh, a USB stick or a hard drive onto your device or vice versa, either way works fine. It's not like the old uh, Nexus Media Importer where you uh, struggle to move them one way rather than the other. This works both ways, so it works just like an ordinary OTG. Uh, once you've actually got them on your device, if it's, certainly if it's a movie or a, an AVI file or whatever, it will appear under your movies folder and it will play with the standard uh, media player that's built into the Nexus 9. I've had no problems with different formats. But in this instance, to play directly from the drive, you'd pick ES Media Player. I've got time to uh, load the... Uh... I want you to tell me the truth about Joffrey. And you can see we can pause, we can play, pause again. And basically what you do if you're in this situation now, you go uh, use the back button. And if you want to exit totally, so all these peripherals are wired up now, we need to safely exit and demount everything that's on there. Go to the uh, exit, bottom left hand corner, click on exit. That will unmount everything, all your drives. The uh, peripherals like the mouse and keyboard are not a problem if you just unplug them, but certainly your drives and everything else, you want to go down this route to un, uh, unmount them and uh, do it safely. So that's a brief tutorial. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments box below. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like. I'll get more videos out to you in the near future. Uh, quickly, a quick apology for the unboxing. It was very, very quick. I just wanted to check the uh, status of uh, the Nexus 9 I received. At the moment, very, very pleased with it. The build quality is okay, price point's okay for me, and uh, it seems to be quite a good tablet. I'll do some more reviews uh, based on the Nexus 9 against the uh, iPad Air, etc., and I'll get them to, out to you shortly. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like, subscribe. It helps me a lot making these videos, and uh, I'll get more videos out in the near future. Thanks for watching.